Okay, so you got you got a, you got a week to go. Uh, how more? Uh, how much do you up the intensity in terms of, of getting ready for for game week at this point? Oh, it's a fine line. You know, you don't want to get anybody hurt. So, um, raising the bar right now, this close to uh, game day is is a little bit touchy. So, uh, if we raise it and we get a hamstring here and there, they don't have time to recover and get back. So. Um, I don't know how much we raise it. I think it's more about sharpening it up and making sure the, uh, the mental mistakes are down to a minimum, and, uh, and we go from there. What was your point of view from that, that 2016 Hail Mary incident? Where were you? Were you on the sideline or were you in the box? I was on the sideline. And what, what do you remember about that just whole situation? I remember it didn't feel very good. And I remember when I got home and I'm sitting on my patio, it felt worse. And I remember thinking that uh, you know that was, that was one of the unfortunate uh, happenings in college football and, and certainly recent memory. So. We certainly haven't, you know, haven't had that loss on us. We're excited to play the game. We understand that this is a great opponent. Uh, they've got a bunch of wins under their belt from last year, and they're riding a streak. So um, you know, hopefully it doesn't happen again. Hopefully it's not a, a repeated situation of trying to uh, to close out a game like that. I hope we can step on the pedal and get after them. But, uh, you know, they're good, so we'll be ready to go. Spencer back, Jalen gone. Still got a lot of good skill guys. How much do you see the personality? of this offense looking, feeling different, or close to the same? Spencer's done a great job. So he's taken over as the guy, and he's you know, undoubtedly our leader. And, uh, um, and he knows it. So he goes out there, he breaks the huddle, he brings everybody up. He, after practice, he's always the guy that collects everyone. Um, and you can see in the way he operates on the field. So um, he's a guy that's just got everybody moving and gelling and playing fast, and, and that's what we want to do. So, um, you know, Losing Jalen, Jalen's you know intensity is carried over into this season. So, um, and then his success now in the NFL, guys see what it takes to to play on that level. Um, we had an NFL running back here that didn't get drafted. <laughs> How about that? Life is good. So we'll see what he does in the show. But, um, but uh, you know our guys have fed off of his success um, at that level right now. At least what we're hearing is all great things coming back out of that camp. That's great. How do you anticipate the running back snaps being divvied up? Is that something you already have a handle on for what you want to do next week, or is it? Uh, do you have a plan for it? Uh, I have a pretty good plan, but you know, as, as of right now, if I get into that, it's game plan stuff and trying to avoid all that stuff if I can. But um, you know, Dom's our guy, and everybody knows that's no secret. So I'd like to get him started and, and get going because he's the one that uh, has got to really start to carry us through the season. So I'd like to get him, you know, a lot of good experience in this first game for camp. As what you look you at their defense, what do you see as their strengths? Uh, obviously, it looks like it's that front is pretty good. Yeah, the defensive front four is, is they're good. I mean, if, you know, they're nationally um, ranked in a lot of categories, so that's not lost on us either. So we get it. We want to try and slow those guys down. If we can do that, then you know we feel we have a chance. Um, but if they get started, if they get their motors revved up, man, it's going to be a long day for uh, for Spencer. So um, we've got to try and, and minimize those guys. The front four. What do you think is the biggest change in Spencer since you started working with him? Or do you think it's changed or more just kind of being in the system for a while? Um, I just, you know, that's a, that's a really good question because yeah. the first thing you would say is maturity, but all, all quarterbacks get more mature as they go through, and, and he's certainly been here long enough. Um, right now, it's it's he's comfortable, you know, and, and it's kind of a word that you don't want to use often because you want guys feeling a little uncomfortable in order to raise their bar, bar all the time uh, to higher and higher levels. but. He's comfortable, so he's playing smooth and he's playing fast, and he knows what is. He knows when the formation is not right to run a certain play. He'll get receivers in position, and you know, he'll make sure that the offensive line is set the right way, and, and all those little things matter because you know the whole thing of coach on the field. He really has become that for us. Is there Full something... transparency. Coach Gundy doesn't like to talk about freshmen, but you've got some in key positions, and from Little Presley to. Uh, Ali and CJ. Chetron. Do you like Chetron? Do you like talking about freshmen? Oh, it doesn't bother me. I mean, I think those guys are good players. They're they're exciting players, and and uh, you know, I want our, our Cowboy faithful, those Poke fans out there, to know they've got some more coming, you know, in, in years to come. So this is exciting times for us. I think uh, you know, our running back Waz has done a great job in recruiting. You know, we've got some good backs there, and and uh, I'm excited to see those guys play. We've got some young offensive linemen that are going to be around for a while too. You mentioned a few weeks. You mentioned a few weeks ago that Talon was kind of banked up and a little behind. Is he caught up now? Is how's Talon doing? He's playing well. He's, yeah, he's back out. He's running around. He's doing some good things. So I'm excited to watch him. I hope he gets a chance to get out there next week. Mike, there said, Mike said earlier today that he feels that he's seen you improve as a play caller. 
for you, do you feel this is just kind of like for a player just getting more reps as that at, as the OC, or do you feel that you're just naturally mm-hmm. starting to, to get a better feel for, for the player? I mean, I suppose it's like anything else. The more you do it, the more comfortable you get, kind of like I was just talking about Spencer. But, you know, the hardest thing for us is, as everyone knows, well-documented thing is it's, it was a lot of moving parts in the beginning. Um, and, and we were fortunate to have things settle down for us the last two years mm-hmm. and, and have fewer injuries towards the back end of, of the season. So things were easier. But in the beginning of the season, when you rep all this stuff through practice through fall camp for 30 days, and then you get out there, and day one, you're looking at an entirely different personnel group than you thought you might have on the field. Um, it changes things, you know. And, and so that for me was actually a, a blessing. Now, right? I mean, it's like playing young offensive linemen, or it's like playing young receivers. Um, it was a blessing because now, I mean, it's pretty much everything has happened to me. <laughs> it's, it's been good. COVID, you name it, it's all happened. He and just kind of a quick follow-up. He, he said that. He, he sees you potentially being good enough for the NFL. Is that is that or a goal coach. for you, or as a, as a head coach? I mean, you've already been in the NFL, do you, but uh, would you like to get back there? I don't. Yeah, I haven't thought about it. I really have not thought about. It. Do I want to be a head coach someday? Sure. I mean, I think just about everybody that gets in this profession dreams of themselves being able to dreams of themselves being able to uh, get to the next level in, in, in the profession. Compete! Compete! And, and call play, I'm um, not call plays, but be the head coach and, and essentially call it for the uh, team. So, sure. Um, but uh, so that's always a goal and an aspiration. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.